What up, YouTube? It's been a while. What do come at? Is that Zavani? What the fuck? Zavani, where? <laughs> anyway, uh, what's up, YouTube? It's Team Umens coming to another deck profile video for uh, Vanquisher, uh, Thunder Strike, all that good stuff there. Uh, it's an ARG top. Uh, top four, actually. I mean, top four of this deck. Uh, it's pretty consistent. I like it. So, uh, let's get the Kind King Zatch out of the way, the injured hero, and let's start with just the great threes. Most important part of the deck is going to be four Gigantic Vanquishers. This is, of course, your main boss. Uh, you need to see this card, otherwise, you will not win. You will lose 100% of games if you don't see this card. Uh, your opponent bricks. But, um, he actually kickstarts your entire turn. He's just going to. Get that retiring by one, and then just everything sets off from there. Uh, back up grade three, I play groundbreaking general Bisham. Uh, this card is only at three because you don't want to see him until you need him. He's uh, really good if you don't know his ability is Thunderstruck 2. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1 on hit. Check the top X number of cards for a for up to two Thunderstruck units, and at the end of the turn, uh, bind them face up. Now, it's really good on the uh, the Voltage turn because since Voltage's power is continuous, whatever cards you call out, you can even call over himself. Since he already hit, you can just call over it. And you have two more huge attacks coming in. Uh, really good, really powerful card. Special stance really good because you can get more pressure going on. Uh, Bishop is an amazing card. I'm running at 3k, he's a 10k, you don't want to ride him. He has no Vanguard effect. Well, he has a Vanguard effect, but you don't really want to use it for that. You'd rather be on Vanquisher. Uh, the grade 2 lineup is probably one of the best grade 2s you have in the game. Uh, you've heard me talk about it before, if you've been on the channel. It's a Chatra, Chatra, simple card, counter blast 1, on hit, bind the card, draw a card. This is probably the, the one of the two ways you wind up getting cards back to your hand. Uh, people don't like letting Chatra hit. Uh, Chatra will wind up letting you eat an attack. People would rather attack Chatra with smaller attacks rather than give you counter blast. Uh, Ch Chatra is amazing. Play three, Rock Climb Dragoon. He's uh, the Glimmer Clone. He is a great card. He one of my favorite ways of retiring cards because I can use the stand trigger with him easily. We'll get to her in a minute. Uh, really good counter blast one, soul blast one. The cost doesn't really bother me much because I have the stand trigger. The Soul Blast can kind of get in the way, but I haven't run into any problems with it at all. If you play this deck, neither will you. Uh, and I play three Martial Arts Dragon. Uh, I hate getting rushed. Can't stand it. Uh, he's a really good uh, early game card. You can ride target, retire one, bind one. Really good, really free. Well, not free, because that counter blast one, so blast one is kind of hefty, especially all right. But then he's a he's a 12k attacker on the rear, which comes in handy a lot. So, there you go, Kevin. <laughs> uh, rounding out the grade twos. I'm not doing this over again, so you know, you fucking know. It's on you. Rounding out the grade two is uh, two Bolted Horn Dragons. Uh, Amber Clone, you know what it does. One swing, counter blast one. Retire mind unit your opponent chooses. A uh, really good card. Helps you get to that Thunderstrike, whatever you want. I've, I've, my maximum so far has been Thunderstrike 17, which actually comes in extremely handy. Yeah, that's pretty much game winning right there. Thunderstrike 17. Gray ones are four Stride Fighters. Uh, I really don't necessarily need to play four Stride Fighters. I have a great three curse, uh, but you know you want consistency. If you don't stride, you will lose with this deck. Uh, it's not even. It's not even a, a question. You will lose if you don't try this deck. In my opinion, the best green one in the game right now is a Chain Bolt Dragoon, especially in a deck like this. Uh, whenever I retire something, find another card from the drop zone. On the Voltage turns, it's basically a plus 8k to a unit in the front row, which is amazing. Uh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think one of my favorite cards in the game right now. I played four Wyvern Defender Golds. Uh, I played this over the Unflipping Perfect Guards because Thunderstrike. It works really well with Bisham. Uh, I can call it from the top, and then if I want to, before it's binded, I can Soul Blast one, bounce it back to my hand, and it doesn't, it doesn't need to feel. So it's really amazing, really good card. Um, Unflipping doesn't really bother me much at all. But yeah. And I play a one up of a uh, Dragon Dancer for Teen. I was playing her at like two, but she's early game, she's pretty dead. You don't really need her. You don't want to ride her because she has a 6k body. 
Uh, but she comes sometimes comes in clutch, gets an extra card in your hand. Also thunder strike, so it pops off of uh, Bisham. Let you draw a card in the middle of battle phase. You get your hand up plus, and I play one uh, train emo dragon. Uh, I was playing it again at like two. I've, I've been taking up this deck for a while now. Uh, and this lineup works best for me. I don't really need these cards to pop up a lot. So um, one of these will let me get like these pesky resist units in the back row that the people like to uh, swing my Vanguard and rear guard. Swing at, uh, at Vanguard and rear guard, pardon me. Uh, gets around resist, helps making some things really, really easy. Uh, resist is my worst nightmare because I have no way to get around it. I don't have a massive board retire. Which might change because I might put in uh, the Tom's Drill Dragon. Actually, one ride counter blast two, blow up everything. Uh, in case of resist or I don't want to wind up using so much to get rid of shit. Zavani cameo. Thumbs y'all. Yeah. All right. So this uh, not my zeros. Starter is going to be a set of Jingo Kid. Uh, at first, I hated this card. I thought this card was kind of minus at first, but uh, it's actually coming handy uh, more so than Wild Run Dragoon. Because it just, uh, just blows something up. Retire and bind it. It's really good. As soon as I retire one thing, retire some else and bind it face up. Blow the fuck up out of it. This card is actually quite amazing. Um, it's won me a couple games. And 7k booster. I don't have to use the effect of personal shot. I can leave it sitting there until I feel like using it. It'll boost for 7k the entire time. Uh, trigger lineup is going to be 4. Uh, Lightning of Triumph Return. Uh, Recef. Uh, put him in a soul, draw a card, 5k power to Vanguard, comes in handy again. Probably one of the biggest ways to be drawing cards in this deck uh, all together. It's really, really good card. You really don't even need to drive check, you just have it and you drop it to the board. Plus it refills your soul for effects. Play two, uh, Jenna Dusty Rainstorm, Rainy Dust Storm, excuse me. It's uh, it makes it that uh, gold can boost any unit. I can just call this here. Uh, give the ability to the Thunder Strike ability to this unit here. It's not Thunder Strike, so Gold can boost it. So that's one. Retire this and then bounce it back. Uh, it's really oh, plus it's a seven K boost for one turn. So this card comes in really clutch. Uh, give me some nice numbers. I need them. Four heal triggers. Uh, a deck's not a deck without four heal triggers. You really need these. It's amazing. Four dragon dance in the end. Uh, dragon in the end. She is your counter blast management. Uh, drawing cards. All of this in one. It's. An amazing card. She works really well with Rock Climb Dragoon, uh, anything on hit, Conquest, if you want to. Just retire something and then draw a card for it and then put a trigger back in the deck for you to draw check later. She's my favorite trigger. I love seeing her. I hate having a guard for him because I mean, it's one less card in my hand. And I played two draw triggers. Um, Draw triggers, they, they can come in clutch sometimes. Uh, she's really good at two. I have to worry about, you know, having excess in my hands. It's, I don't have to worry about you no know, draw chicken my uh draw chicken to a draw trigger. It's really good. Plus she's so cute. I love her. It's my favorite draw trigger in the game. Uh, now for the stride lineup. The one of the most important strides is Vanquisher Voltage. Uh four of, definitely four of. Uh despite what some people might tell you, this is still your win con. Like one hundred percent your win con because once you're at Thunder Strike, you know, seven or eight or nine or so your opponent's gonna have a really hard time blocking everything especially with cards like bisham on board you know providing on hit pressure and then additional units that they do hit they have to take one of these so, oh for sure so uh he's still your, your win con on hit retire one by two it's great really good your first turn strike and your last turn strike that shit's strong he will win you that that negro is correct this shit is strong it'll win you more games than than anything else in this deck now four conquest dragon. Uh, conquest dragon is conquest dragon. Uh, your opponent does not does not to call rear guards or they want to leave things in the front row. You just conquest, blow something up. You can pop up the stand trigger. You can pop off the starter. You can do a lot of things with this card. Take it to the front row almost guaranteed. Uh, really solid it four of because you don't want to use it once they have nothing else to go into. Uh, conquest keeps a lot of high pressure on. For the opponent, I play three uh, V Max. V Max is here uh, when your opponents have four to five damage. They want you have to block everything. You have to block it all. Um, you don't know what this card does, and he attacks for every face up. He attacks regardless every face up. Vanquisher in the G zone. 
including himself or Voltage. Really good. Five damage. Uh, not five damage. Counter Blast two. Hit him with a damage. Just KO it. You know they, they can heal on six, but you know they not have to deal with the rest of the guards on the outside. Uh, v Max is playing at three because um against some decks he's actually really free pressure. Against decks like you know Gold Tower attack everything. Uh, sweet. You can attack everything uh, against decks that don't want to call things like Pelmo. You can still punish them. Like, okay, that's cool. Let me uh, deal with that. You're at four now, and you're gonna go to five. You have to block everything. So now my G guards. I play four Bulwark Dragons. Uh, Bulwark Dragon is really good. Uh, he misses time on a lot of things because at the end of the uh, end of battle. Just that one little line makes him not as good as, say, like, the Feet Flare or Head Run Round or anything like that. But for what he does, he's really good if you use him correctly. Correctly, Because not only will he pop off, uh, not only will he retire things most of the time, but he'll pop off uh, Vanquish's GB2 skill, giving him 3k power. And he'll pop off any chain once you have binding more cards on their turn. So that you can get your, uh, your Thunderstruck high at high, 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 high as hell. Which is how I got Thunderstruck 17 uh, as record. Uh, Plus, he's a 36k shield, which is what you really want in a G guard. If you know, if you can't just blow something up for free. But he's a really solid card. Uh, I love him. I do play one uh, Lightning uh, Reacher, Lightning King Reacher. Because he's Thunderstruck 1 instead of Thunderstruck 3, um, in case I go first and I want a G guard, usually I won't be able to get uh, Bulwark Dragon off. So I'll still be able to use it to guard for 31 to block any 29s or, you know, 28, something like that swinging at me. So he's a really good card. And the last card in G zone is going to be an Air Element series. Um, people say the Counter Blast 2 cost is high, but I actually like it because it gets your GB skills early. Um, make sure your first turn Voltage actually gains the power that it's going to need to do things uh, to put the pressure on your opponent. So it's a really good card to go into. The Counter Blast 2 doesn't hurt that much, especially when you have um, especially when you have the Stance you're going to the damage for you. So you're just going to get 3 damage anyway because taking hits, like, you have to. So uh, that's the Stride deck right there. Um, that's going to be my Vanquisher deck. Uh, put Zash back out here. And Madoka. All that shit. There's the Team Uber signing out. Woo! See ya!